If you clicked on this video, you might already know how important schema is when it comes to helping Google better understand the content on your website. And if you have a step-by-step -step how to page on your website, it can be beneficial for you to have a how to schema on that page. And since Elementor doesn't allow you to natively add schema, I've come up with three different methods to help you add a how to schema onto your WordPress website. Before we get started with the video, I'm Yaz from the Brainstorm Force team, creators of the Astro theme. And on this channel, we create content about our latest product updates, as well as WordPress tutorials for beginners and non-coders. So if you want to improve your WordPress skills, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on your notifications. And if you guys are ready, let's get started. All right, I'm on the computer now. And depending on how you build your website, you might have a certain preference on how you want to add schema to that website. That's why we have three different methods in this video. And you can click on the timestamps below to jump to any method you want to check out. For the examples in this video, the how to I'll be using will be how to take care of your indoor plants, along with the beautiful plant store starter template. I've installed this Elementor based template along with the Astra theme. So if you want to check those out, I'll leave links for both of those in the description below as well. Now let's get started with method number one on adding your how to schema. This is by using the amazing ultimate add ons for Elementor plugin or UAE for short. This is a plugin created by Brainstorm Force and adds a range of awesome and well designed widgets to expand your Elementor widgets library. I've just created this brand new page where we'll add our how to take care of your indoor plants content. Once UAE has been installed, you can see it within Elementor on the left hand side of your menu right at the bottom. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see it right here, ultimate add ons. You can see that we have so many different widgets you can use. The one we're after in this video is right here at the bottom, how to schema. Now we can drag it and drop it onto a page just like any other widget. So let me grab this here and drop it in here. And right away, it loads up the how to schema widget along with a template of content already filled in. It comes with all the relevant fields you might need for your how to schema. You have a heading, a thumbnail image, total time needed, total cost, the tools, and then finally the steps themselves. And you can add images as well if you'd like to for each step. You can customize this however you like and add in the content for your how to page. You can adjust the title, the description, thumbnail photo, materials and tools, and finally the steps as well all within the left hand side menu here. And it's pretty straightforward. Any change you make on the left hand side here will show up live on your web page on the widget right here. Let me quickly customize this and add some content about taking care of your indoor plants as the example. All right, I've just finished modifying the widget and included some content. As you can see, I've adjusted the hitting, the steps among other things to make it a how to page about taking care of indoor plants. This is all complete now and we have a beautiful looking how to page that you can set up exactly how you like. And now you might be wondering, okay, we've created this beautiful how to page, but now how do I create a schema from this? Well, to answer that question, it has already been done for us automatically. If I just blew your mind, let me know in the comments down below. Yes, you heard me right. Our schema is created automatically with this how to schema widget from UAE. Let's quickly go ahead and run the rich results test. I'll leave a link for it in the description below and check if our page and schema have been set up correctly. I'll just enter my URL here and go. And in a little bit of time, you can see that it's working correctly and the rich results are showing up perfectly. It does give us some warnings here, but those are all optional things like images that I decided not to include when we created the how to page just a few minutes ago. And that's the first way we can add a how to schema onto your WordPress website. If you use Elementor to design your web pages, and you have to consider UAE. It comes with a huge range of beautifully designed widgets to expand your Elementor design capabilities, as well as schema enabled widgets like the how to schema widget, as well as the FAQ schema widget. It is a paid plugin. And if you want to find out more about UAE, I've left a link for you in the description below. Although UAE has some schema functionality, if you want to create a variety of different schema on your website, then you will need a solution that can add all kinds of schema for you easily. That brings us into method number two, and this is by using a plugin called Schema Pro. Schema Pro lets you add schema onto your website very easily, and it allows you to add all kinds of different schema onto a website too, including the how-to schema. I've already installed the plugin ahead of time, and to use this, you'll have to navigate into the settings menu on your WordPress dashboard and click on Schema Pro. Over here, we can go ahead and press add new right at the top to start adding our schema. And on the schema pro menu here, it shows you all the different types of schema you can add to your website. You have article, book, event, recipe, service, and so much more. 
And Schema Pro makes it extremely easy to apply a schema in bulk to many different pages on your website, which I'll talk about later in the video. All right, let's continue. We'll press the How to Schema button here. Currently, it's set to enable on all singulars, but if you want to change that, you can. You can select pages, posts, or any custom post types you might have as well. But for this video, let's continue with all singulars. All right now, it says your schema is ready. It lets us know down here as well what our next steps are. We have to complete the setup. We have to add the necessary information into the individual pages as needed. And then we have to test if it's working correctly. Let's press continue setup right here. And this brings us into the global how to schema settings page. Down here, it shows us how it will determine the name, description, and title for the schema from our website. It's getting the name from the title, the description from the content, and the total time from a new custom field. We'll leave this as is, and now we will go to our how to page and finish configuring the schema. And on screen right now, you'll see another page I created with the same how to instructions. The only difference between this page and the one we created previously is that the previous one was created with the UAE how to schema widget, whereas this one was created with standard Elementor blocks. So this page will not automatically have the how-to schema enabled like in method number one. We'll be adding a how-to schema on this page using the Schema Pro plugin. Let's head out of Elementor and go into the Edit Page menu. And right at the bottom, you can see that the Schema Pro menu is present with the how-to schema fields as well. Then all we have to do here is press the plus button beside these fields to add the relevant content to it. So for example, I can add in the materials here by copying and pasting them from my how-to page up here. Then I can press add to add another entry for the materials. And we can do the same exact thing for the tools as well. And if you're wondering what the difference is between materials and tools, the materials are items consumed during the how-to, but tools are the items you use that are not consumed. We can then add in our steps as well. You have the step name, description, a step URL, or image as well if you'd like to. Let me use my time machine now and fast forward into the future where I'll have all of this filled out for you. And now we're in the future and here you go, all our schema data has now been added for this how-to page. And once all that's filled in, we can go ahead and press update on this post. And that's all done for us. Our schema should now be ready. Let's go back to the rich results test and make sure this is working properly. And boom, there we go. Our page is eligible for rich results, indicating that it's working correctly. And that's how you can use Schema Pro to add a how-to schema onto a WordPress website. Like I said earlier, you'll probably be working with many different types of schema for your website, and Schema Pro is the best tool for handling that. Although you have some schema capability with UAE method number one, it's not really a product dedicated for schema, and even though we had to manually enter some of our how-to steps into the how-to schema with Schema Pro, it's a lot of schema, when it comes to other types of schema, such as the article schema, Schema Pro will actually pull in the different schema fields automatically using the article's metadata. This makes it so much easier, especially when you might have different posts on your website because Schema Pro will automatically pull in the data from each post and create the relevant schema for that post without you having to do anything else. And if you want to check out Schema Pro, I've left a link for you in the description below. And lastly, we're on to our final method. This is the manual way to add schema. For this tip, we have to manually add the schema code to our web page. To generate this code, I searched for a schema markup generator for how to schema. It found a really cool tool here from technicalseo.com. If you want to use this for yourself, I've left a link in the description below. And from here, you can select how to schema, and then you'll have to enter all the details manually. Let me fast forward a few minutes and I'll show you the completed form. All right, here's a completed form. And I've filled in the name of the schema, the estimated costs, the currency, the supply, which is the materials, the tools, and finally the steps down here too. While I fill this in, the code on the right hand side here was updating live. To include all my schema properties. Now that it's done, I can copy this code and head back to my page. For this step, we'll add an HTML block to our Elementor page. You can do this by adding an HTML block like this one and dragging it onto our page. And in this box right here, you can go ahead and paste your code that we copied previously. And that's it. All you have to do is press update. And now that's all done for us. Let's go and find out if this is working. And here we are back on the rich results test. And just letting you know that I've deactivated Schema Pro before pasting the HTML code on our web page. And let's go ahead and run our test right now. And there we go. It looks like it's working correctly. And that's the manual method on adding a how to schema onto your website. And although it does show that we have rich results, we cannot be sure about how the tool is updated or if there are any errors present. And this can prevent us from having a fully filled in schema. Now, this is one reason why I would not recommend the manual method. You'll have to generate this code every time you make an update to the how-to page on your website. And this can be very cumbersome. 
So I would highly recommend that you choose one of either method one or two if you're looking to create a schema for your website. All right, that wraps up the three ways you can add a how-to schema onto your WordPress website. If you had any questions about any of these three methods, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll be sure to help you out. And that's it for this video. If you guys got value from the video, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe to our channel by clicking over here. That would mean a lot. And you can watch even more of our content by clicking over here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.